Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and we are going to build a keyboard sponsored by Win Studio. They only gave three of these kits to the Philippines, and I'm lucky to be one of the three. The keyboard model is the SIN65. It comes in different colors in their website, and I got the semi-transparent one. This kit costs $288, and that's roughly around 16,000 pesos. As you can see, there is a blue box inside, We'll just take a look at that later. As you can see, the semi-transparent case looks amazing. Now let's open this blue box. Here you can see the PCB. Next, we also have foam and plates. Last but not the least, we have the screws and pads for the case and PCB. As you notice, the box does not include switches or stabilizers, but luckily Win Studio also sponsored me some. We have some Gaideon stabilizers. We also have amazing SOT switches costing 1,600 a box. So thank you so much, Win Studio.
All right, guys, so here are my final thoughts of this mechanical keyboard. I do have to say I love it. It's my first time building a mechanical keyboard from scratch. I mean, yeah, I've built a Tom 680 before, but the bare bones were already assembled. Here, I really had to assemble the bare bones together, and then, of course, put the switches and keycaps all together as well. I think the first time that I built this thing, I thought it was pretty much okay, but I've showed the build video to two mechanical keyboard enthusiasts and they told me that I should screw the Type-C connector, which I did by the way, I understand my mistake. And of course I also put some standoffs. I know that was optional but I still did that and I also screwed the PCB to the top case because in the build video as you can see I've already attached the top case and screwed it at the bottom case but I've also screwed the PCB to the top case as well because, you know, just for extra security, but if you guys think that I should do anything else to it, or if you guys think it wasn't necessary, please just comment below, because I really want to hear our mechanical keyboard enthusiast's opinion below, right? So the sound, I do love the sound, it sounds really solid, it doesn't feel hollow, it's absolute opposite of hollow. I love the switches that they gave me, they are absolutely fantastic, they were, they were already pre-lube, nice and smooth, I love the sound. For the stabilizers, I was a little bit disappointed, because they were actually rattly, and another YouTuber actually said that his complaint with the SIN65 was the stabilizers, but please note that the stabilizers aren't included in the package. They only gave us stabilizers for this build, so it's not really Win Studio's fault, and don't worry about that. Now, another mechanical keyboard enthusiast told me that having a rattly stabilizer is pretty much okay as long as you lube it, and I actually lubed it in. The stabilizers did sound better, It does sound a bit better. But I think that I should do a holy mod to this. Yeah, but I still need some help. But when it comes to the feel, aesthetics, looks, and sound and feel of this thing, this is absolutely great. There's no RGB on this thing, but I don't think it needs RGB. I think it's already cool enough. So this is roughly around 16,000 pesos, but if you include the switches, the SOTC switches and the Gateron stabilizers, this in total costs 20,000 pesos. These, this is not available in stores, only available in group buy in their specific website as well. Thank you so much Winsidia for giving me this amazing keyboard. I love it, has some good weight to it, it has class to it, has amazing sound as well. And here's one final sound test using a dynamic microphone. Alright guys, so comment below your opinions, tell me everything that you need to tell me, mechanical keyboard enthusiasts, give me your opinion too, tell me my mistakes or tell me what I've done right. I'm really open to this because it's really my first time making a keyboard like this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you guys in my next video as well. Okay guys, bye!